Welcome back everybody. It is I, Stevie Stroh, the original gamer here with you with another cool cartridge game from the TRS-80 Color Computer, aka the Coco. This game was called Castle Guard. This was meant of one of the many cartridges that you could purchase for this computer system. And this one was inspired by an Atari game called Warlords. In the Warlords game you had four castles in the corner, you moved your paddles around, it was basically kind of like a four player breakout where you had to basically destroy the walls of your opponent's castles and knock out their king. So this is our version of the game and my castle is in the lower left and the computer controlled castle is in the upper right and we just have to try to knock the castle out and defend our own. And it's a little bit challenging to control with this stick because back in the 80s I just, I just hit myself and I sunk one level. In the 80s this computer had a really interesting analog joystick which was perfect for this game. The analog controller was really bad for most traditional arcade games but it was really good for this one. I'm using an Xbox controller right now that's nowhere near as responsive as that original 80s stick. And I'm doing bad. I might have to switch to my mouse to play this. So let's try this one time. And if I do bad, I'll play it again. Now see the, the AI, he's actually destroying himself right now. So um, let's see how we can do here. And that blue puddle is just kind of like a lake, I guess. I don't think that's going to make the ball bounce at all. It's a fireball. So we're hurling fireballs back and forth at each other. And this, in order to get on a cartridge, the interesting thing about this game system is, you know, Radio Shack made it. This was a Tandy product. In order to get on a cartridge, you had to go through Tandy. You had to be licensed by them and approved by them. And, um, you know, unfortunately, a lot of the stuff they put out wasn't as good as a lot of the third-party independent studios and game developers. So most of the better games were not released by Tandy. The only way you could get cartridges is you had to buy them at Radio Shack. And so they struck deals with different companies and they sold games and put them on a cartridge. And unless you knew how to buy things from a catalog because there was no internet back then, or you knew how to wink wink get copies of things, um, it was hard to get games for the computer. If you were, if you lived in a box and didn't know about some of the magazines for this computer and how to order games uh, through the mail, I can't even say order online. You had to order them from a catalog and order them through the mail. If you didn't know how to do that, you were limited to whatever you could buy in your local Radio Shack store. There are some gems, and I'm going to review some of those cartridges. I'm going to review some of my favorites. This was an okay game, but it was definitely not a gem. This is a pretty lame. Even for the 80s, this was a pretty lame game. I am almost dead. I don't think I want to play this game a second time. I was thinking about switching my mouse just to get a better um, controllability, but quite frankly, it's not worth it. So I'm going to play through. I'm going to die. We'll let the game end, and um, then I'll review another title. But this was a cool game. I'm reviewing cartridges right now, so I'm going to do some of my favorite cartridges and some of the more interesting cartridges that were available. This was one of them. Definitely not one of the best, but it was one of them. So let's see how we're doing here. I don't know if I can get this computer to die or not. I seriously doubt it. The computer's definitely doing better than my thumb stick is letting me control this paddle here. But we're going to try. We're going to try. I'll let the computer kill himself right now. You can do that, dude. You can kill yourself all day long. I'll sit here and watch. I'm going to pour myself a glass of iced tea and watch you do that. Come on, bro. Come on, brother. Okay, two more hits. Maybe, just maybe, despite my handicap of controllers here, I might just take this dude out. The artificial intelligence on this game is nowhere near... Uh, Overwhelming. It's underwhelming for sure. It's not overwhelming. It's not even whelming. Is whelming a word? Okay, two more hits. He's down to his flag. We're close. We are close here. I gotta keep you away from my castle. I think it's actually easier to protect your castle when it's smaller because there's less area to defend. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. You can do it. It's two or three more hits on your flag and you're down. You are down, brother. Man, this is hard to do with this Xbox controller. Come on, stay away from me. Stay away from me. Come on, come on, come on. 
stay away from me. We can do this. I know we can. I just hit myself like a ding dong. Come on. Come on. Wow. This is a painful game to play. I'm dying of boredom before I even finish my first level. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Yes. Come on. A few more hits on that flag and it is mine. You will be mine. Oh yes. You will be mine. Come on flag. Wow. Come on. Two more hits on that flag. We can do it. And I'm almost dead. One more hit. I think you're going down to Chinatown. Oh, man. That's more than a hit. Okay, I did it. Yes! So that's what it's like when you defeat the computer's castle. Big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. So this was Castle Guard, 1982. This was actually put on a cartridge. This was actually sold by Radio Shack. You could play two players if you had another person with a controller and play back and forth, or we could watch the computer play against itself, but I'm going to spare us all that torture. So I hope you enjoyed this preview of a classic cartridge game for the TRS-80 color computer from 1982 known as Castle Guard. I have been the original gamer Stevie Stroh. I hope you enjoyed this. If this is the first time you've seen one of my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a like, a big fat thumbs up, and throw me a comment. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you all next time.